So hey people, it's uh, Wobblin here. Decided to make a video about mining. So I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for quite a while, and I finally got my miner up to uh, level 70. And I'm sure like a lot of people, when I got to level 70, I had no idea what to do, and it was it took me a while to actually figure it out. So I decided to make a video to uh, show you some of the things you can do once you get started at level 70. So I'm going to talk about uh, how to get your first gear set and some better gear. Uh, then we'll look at finding some food for that. Um, and then after that you can start collecting yellow and red scripts and I'll show you how you can get those and those can be used to exchange for gear or uh, other items. I'll tell you how to find some of these nodes and then uh, a good collecting rotation. Uh, but the first thing to do once you get to level 70 is, of course, get some better gear, some level 70 gear. And luckily you can buy that from a vendor. So we're going to head first to uh, Kugane. And uh, I'll show you some of, the, some of the different things you can get at level 70 and where to get that. So forgive my loading time, I've uh, needed to get a solid state drive for a while, but they're not the cheapest things on the market. Good, so here we are in Kugane, and I'm just going to walk over to the uh, markets. So of course you can buy things on the market board, and unfortunately you can't buy accessories from the vendor. So you'll want to take a look at the market board and see if you can find any good accessories just to get your uh, GP up a little bit. Uh, so the first thing you'll do here is we have the uh, armor, and of course you can go to field craft gear. And I'm talking about mining, but mining and uh, botany, I think they're pretty much the same thing with just a couple of different names for the uh, moves. So you can see here, uh, level 70 has a full gear set. You have a head, um, body, and it actually doesn't look terrible as well. You can see it's just a purple poncho. But uh, you get the level 70 gear set and that'll be a good start. You're uh, aiming to get your GP up to at least 600, uh, preferably up to 650, I think 675. and. Uh, as much perception and gathering as you can. So you'll get your armor over here, and then you'll just come over here to get your weapons from the tool supplier. So you can see here you have a uh, level 70 axe and a level 70 uh, sledgehammer, and you'll want to get both of those, and that should give you a pretty good start. Uh, finally, you want to get some food, and there's a couple of different places you can do that. The first one is here, in Kugane from the Culinarian. And you'll get food for whichever uh, points you're lacking in. So here you can see this one is for gathering and GP. But uh, another place, if you need more perception, for example, is you can head over to uh, Reunion. And we'll just pop over there quickly so I can show you... Uh, where to get that. You do have a pretty good selection on food, so it shouldn't be too hard for you to find it, and it's not ridiculously expensive. Alright, so from here in Reunion, just find, find the uh, food vendor. You can see the cook right over here. Uh, this is where you're going to get your food. So you have the stuffed cabbage rolls I saw before, which have perception and GP, but uh, over here too you have perception and gathering. Uh, this one is probably one of the better ones, unless you're lacking on GP. Personally, I use the one from Kugane most of the time to try and get my GP up uh, so I can get an extra swing if possible on the node. Okay, so next you have to unlock scripts, and that is in Rolger's Reach, but if you're like me, I never played this game before, and I only now got to level 70, so you have to actually go back to a Realm Reborn content. So you're going to start out in uh, Revenant's Toll, actually. So we'll head over to Revenant's Toll, and I can show you where you go to unlock that. 
Um, of course, I've already done it, so the quest won't be available for me. But I'll show you where you pick up the quest and where you find the quest. So it's going to be one of those blue quest markers that has the little plus in it. And you'll get it uh, right at the top of Revenant's Toll. And they're relatively short quests, so there's not much story and no extra fetching really for anything like that. So you're going to head up here, and uh, the quest giver is, is right up in this area here. And you can already see the collectible appraiser and the script exchange, and you're going to get one of those in uh, Realm Reborn, um, Heavensward, and also in Stormblood. Good, so you'll pick up the quest here and you'll start it there. Of course, make sure you're in your minor spec, otherwise it'll be red. But you'll pick it up there, and then that one is going to take you on to Idleshire, which hopefully I can find here. From Idleshire, you'll just have a couple more things, uh, but then you'll unlock one of the weekly delivery people as well, which I'll talk to. Uh, I'll talk about a little bit more in a moment, because we use that to collect the scripts that we need. So again, here I'm not sure exactly where the quest giver was, but if you open up your map, you'll see again that blue uh, quest marker with the plus in it. Um, and then eventually you'll unlock the custom deliveries over here. Remember, this is the Heaven Sword content, so you'll get a new one for Stormblood. Um, but anyway, you'll unlock those quests, and then finally it'll send you to Ralgar's Reach. Uh, where again, you'll unlock finally the Stormblood portion of that content. Good, so after you have everything unlocked, you have the gear you need, you have the food you need, then you can start thinking about uh, actually collecting these scripts. And I'll go show you quickly where you will use those scripts. So here, finally, Kalina is where you will uh, complete the quest, and then you have the collectible appraiser and the uh, script exchange. So. You'll collect these uh, yellow and red scripts. And you can see we have the yellow gatherer scripts and the red gatherer scripts. Uh, the level 70 ones is what you're going to use to buy pretty much most of your gear that you're going to use. You can see you always need these yellow scripts in order to, uh, to buy those. So in your currency menu, you can see here the uh, yellow gatherer scripts and the red gatherer scripts, and those are going to be what you're collecting. So the fastest way to get them, and you can do it once a week, you can hand in seven deliveries. And you can do that um, in Idleshire, they don't award as much. You get six that you can turn in in Idleshire to Zloe. And then uh, we have in Rogers Reach, Nago, who you can also uh, hand them into, and there you can get about a hundred yellow scripts for each hand in. So it's uh, 600 a week. It doesn't take very long. So I recommend doing that every week. So here you can see Nago. And make a delivery. I don't have any left this week. But this week, or th at this time, what um, Nago wants is this Shishu Koban. And you can right click on it and uh, search in the gathering uh, method here and you can see exactly where it is. So you'll head over to Authard and then the Ruby Sea and then the specific spot there will be the Crab Pots. And it's not too hard to find these ones. So these ones are always there, you just have to go collect them and then uh, hand them in. Um, and all of these collections are going to be the same. So I'm going to show you now how to collect the uh, other ones. But let's head back over to the uh, script exchange and the collector, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so it 
what's this collectible appraiser that we're going to be collecting for? So you can see these are all the different things that they want. And a couple of things to bring your attention to. Right now we're looking at minor. So each item has a certain collectability that you have to reach, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. If you get that collectability, you can see it'll give you 25. If you get between 470, the minimum, and up to 500, then you get a bit of a boost from 5 to 529, and then the most being if you can get over 530. But your real aim is just to get at least 470. Um, if you're still leveling, you can also get experience, so you don't have to wait till level 70 in order to do this. Um, the yellow ones are what you're going to use to buy the current content. Uh, the red ones you can buy some older gear and some other things. Uh, one of the things you can buy with the red ones, but it takes I think about 2500 red scripts total, is uh, you can buy these tomes. You can see these two at the top here, the palladium and the chromite. I can't actually unlock until I get that tome of geological folklore and uh, for both places. So you can use the red scripts to unlock these extra ones. So really we're interested in these three and any of the red ones that we want if we want to uh, start collecting the red scripts in order to buy anything, for example these tomes. Good, so just like we had in the uh, in the weekly uh, custom delivery, you can right click on any of these and it will also tell you where you can find it. But it's a little unclear, so there's actually a website that you can use uh, that works very well in order to find where these are. And the other thing about these ones that we're collecting here, uh, these ones aren't always up like the other ones. So these ones spawn uh, once per hour, um, spawn twice per hour. So for example, uh, one of them will spawn at 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. in Eorzea time. So you want to make sure you have your Eorzea time um, visible somewhere on your screen. Um, so they'll spawn twice in the Eorzean day, which is one hour in real time. But you have to be there at the right time to collect those. So you're going to use the website. Okay, so here's the website. Uh, the first thing that I do is uh, you want to untick the ephemeral, and because we're only interested in the unspoiled and legendary right now. And make sure you have mining ticked. If you have mining and botany, you can tick them both, and it gives you a lot more uh, options of things you can look at here. Um, but I like to change it to list mode first. So you go up to the top here and you click this button, and it changes it to list mode. And then it, you can actually see as things come up um, in order, uh, a bit easier for me. So here I have some favorites marked, um, and these are the specific ones that are in the uh, collectibles right now. So to mark a favorite, you'll just find the one that you want. For example, say I want uh, this one, and I click it, and I go to favorites. And now you can see it's added up to my favorites here. Um, you can also see there are maps available, and I'll show you how to use those. So you can take a look here at what is coming up next. So you can see this one is counting down in red. Red means that it is about to come up, and you can see here it's a st uh, raw star spinal. You want to look at this number over here, this 8. So that 8 tells us that once we start mining it, it's going to be in the 8th slot, and that's going to be helpful um, in a moment, and you'll see why. It tells you where exactly to find it, in the Ruby Sea, in the area 10,000 near Pine, and it even gives you the coordinates. And here, like I said, you can see the Eorzean time um, that it comes up, and this one comes up at 12 and 12. Good, so like I said, the red counting down means it's going to come up. We can look at the map up here. This gives us the general area where it is. Uh, so let's go back now to the game and we'll head over there. We have about two minutes to get there. Let's see if we can hurry it up. Uh, so this one is in the Ruby Sea. Good, 
And uh, as soon as this loads, while we make our way over there, I'm just going to explain a little bit of the rotation that I'm using. So if you look here at the top of my screen, it's really these four uh, spells right here that I'm going to be using. Um, a couple of things though, you want to make sure that you have Truth of the Mountains on, so this is what you actually have to have active in order to find the node in the first place once it spawns. And because we're looking for collectibles, we need to make sure that your collector's glove is on as well. Um, so, I'll explain what these do um, as I'm mining. And we are waiting for 12 o'clock Aorzea time in order for it to spawn. So we'll just give it uh, about another minute. Okay, so it's after 12 and we can see the uh, node has just spawned. And here it is on my map. So we're just going to head over there. It's always a good idea to keep stealth on if you're worried about uh, enemies around. Okay, so here we are at the node. You can see I have my collector's glove on, so it says collectibles. And here's where it's important on that website, uh, where it showed us actually which spot that is in. And for the raw star spinal that we're looking at is in slot 8. So 1, 2, 3, all the way down to 8. We're going to click here. And you first have to click and use one swing to discover it. And make sure your collector's glove is on again. And now we can click on it to start appraising it, and you can see it brings up this new window. So every time we appraise it, uh, the wear is going to increase by 10, so you really only get three appraisals. Uh, these are the two different types of appraisals we're going to use. So we have impulsive appraisal, we'll use this for the first two times, because you can see um, it has a chance to proc this discerning eye. So you want to use this twice, and Methodical Appraisal once. So to start out, we're going to use this Discerning Eye, and what this does is it increases the rarity of each appraisal. So we'll start out here with Discerning Eye, and you can see I now have the Discerning Eye buff here. So now when I use this appraisal, it'll increase the rarity by a little bit more, and we're going to need that. Now we can see Discerning Eye actually procced, it's still active. And whenever that happens, now I have this fourth one, Single Mind. So instead of using Discerning Eye, I don't need to because it's already active. I'm going to use that GP for Single Mind instead. So what Single Mind does is it means when I use the next appraisal, my uh, bar here is not going to go down. So essentially I get one more swing, which means one more raw star spinal that I can collect in the end. So I've used my single mind. The second appraisal, again, is going to be the impulsive one. You can see I was quite lucky, so my discerning eye is still up, which means I don't have to use the 200 GP to cast it again, and I can use single mind once again. So now I'm going to use my last appraisal, methodical. That increases my wear. I don't want to go over 30, because then this percentage of gathering is going to go way down. So now that I'm done, that's the end of my rotation, I can finally hit Collect. And now you can see this Collectability rating. So you remember, for the collectibles, you need 450 or 470, depending on which one you're going for. This one is, I believe, 450. But you can see I'm well above that, I'm at 509. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, I do want that. And now I can keep collecting. Remember, I was quite lucky, I used the single mind a couple of times, so I'm going to get quite a few pieces here. But if you can even get one, uh, that's, that's enough, that's plenty. So we'll get as much as we can out of this. And after you start doing this, and you use that website, you're going to find you get a rotation, you can go from place to place, you can keep collecting these indefinitely. Uh, you are going to want to make sure that you have some cordials. Uh, you can get these either from the market board. Uh, I personally get my cordials from the uh, Grand Company vendor and use Grand Company seals for those. Good, but we have a few um, collectibles. You can see in your inventory they have that special little icon next to them, collectible, and you can see the collectability rating of each one there. So this 530, that's going to give me that uh, second bonus when I hand it in. 
So why don't we just head back to Rolger's Reach now, and I'll actually show you uh, how to hand it in. It's quite simple, and then you'll uh, then we'll be done, and you can get started on mining or gathering. Like I said, botany, I have, from what I understand, works exactly the same way. Good, so here we are back in Rolger's Reach. And we're just going to head over to that collectible appraiser. And you can see this is now in white. I have five that I can hand in. So I just start handing them in and uh, my scripts go up. So just a couple of final notes. You notice the time remaining here. So when that time goes down, this uh, star is going to be on something else. So right now it's on raw azurite. So uh, raw azurite gives you quite a bit more than it normally would. And these stars, again, there means they give you more than they normally would. So I hope you uh, can get started on mining. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if you liked the video, please like it, share it, spread it. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun, and I'll talk to you next time.